Well, welcome to Atari Story 7. Now, today I'm reviewing this, which is the Flash television series, Reverse Flash, DC Comics Multiverse action figure. Now, um, if <laughs> you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know, uh, DC Multiverse pretty much started my YouTube channel. Um, I basically started trying to review all these different stuff, and it went horribly wrong. Uh, but then I reviewed DC Multiverse Batman, that was the first tour review I ever put on the internet, and it actually went well, so, uh, you know, I decided to start doing reviews on DC Multiverse. And, uh, you know, with the up the mind scale of 6 inches instead of 3.75 inch, a little sad about that, but I really like the Flash, so, uh, let's get into this thing. So here we have the DC Multiverse, we have the Flash over here, we have 4 and up over here, then we have the Reverse Flash, where we have some image of him, then we have the Flash TV series, Reverse Flash, Connect and Collect, oh, Collect and Connect, Justice Wester, and then on this side we have the Flash. Flash. This side we have an image of Eobard Fawn, and then we have the name of the character and basically where he's from and stuff like that. Then we have the other available characters, um, the bio for the line, and a uh, reverse flash written there and what the character looks like, so, or the Justice Buster when it's completed. So uh, let's get this thing out of the packaging. Justice Buster pieces to get. I think you just click them like this, and I think this is supposed to be a torso. Um, and uh, so, you know, if you're collecting that, this is what it looks like. I'm not going into great detail because I don't collect these. Or, well, I really just came for the figures. But so, you know, um, yeah, but uh, let's talk about the reverse one. Here we have the man in yellow. Uh, really cool. <laughs> um, this uh, started popping up in Walmarts about two weeks ago. Uh, then Toys R Us has got him, and I think Target's not really sure. Actually, I don't think I've seen him at Target yet. Uh, but yeah, Reverse Flash, really cool character. So, um, you know, really big fan when they made the Arrow Reverse line with Arrow and Flash and Reverse Flash. I said I wanted to get all the figures, and I didn't. I'm really happy about that. Uh, Supergirl's gonna be coming out soon. We'll be getting her, you know, because she is technically part about the technically part of the Arrow multiverse. So, um, yeah, let's start talking about. It. So initially. <coughs> He'll have about the same sculpt as the Flash, uh, but he's got some new sculpts, I believe. Um, I think the face is about the same, to be honest, but other than that, there are some new pieces. But uh, as you can see, speaking of the face, he's got the yellow mask with the red little Flash ears, and then he has the amazing face, which is really cool. Um, the eyes are really nice, to be honest. I really like the eyes with the red and white in them. They, they did a really good job on that. Then we have the figure's torso with the Flash, Reverse Flash logo of the red and black, really nice. And uh, <coughs> then we have his arms, and as you can see, it might be a little hard, but um, his hands have the little more darkened out color, which is really nice, really nice pay um, attention detail that they did. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually some molded on on painted lightning around here. Then we have lightning. On the back, you can see it's just kind of plain yellow. Uh, basically like a suit, but really cool. And um, then you can see uh, we do have some really nice uh, red on the darkened out yellow. Really nice. And then we have more of like black legs. And then on the boots, you can see the red going in. So, you know, that's what creates the red when he runs around his feet. So that's really cool. Uh, one really nice thing that I really like that they did. Um, it's not molded, but they actually did paint a ring on Reverse Flash's uh, finger. That's really nice, as Reverse Flash has his ring, um, has his costume in a ring, which is something that the Flash does not have yet. He'll probably get that in Season 3 or before the end of Season 2. Uh, but let's start talking about this thing, his articulation. So the head, 360, just like the Flash's, I believe. Go up and down. You got 360 at the arm as well. You can swing him out. Uh, 360 at the elbow. And there is bendability. You also have 360 at the wrist. So, you know, generic. Really cool articulation. Um, let's get that back there. Uh, no torso articulation of any sorts. I don't believe any of these figures have that, but I might be wrong. A uh, leg swing out and back. And then the legs kick out, which are... <laughs> Really cool. Uh, and then there is bendability. They also have a 360 at kind of like the thigh slash knee. And then the legs also feature up and down, but I believe that's about all they can do. I don't think they um, like turn or anything, but uh, you know, it's really cool. So um, <coughs> I really like this reverse flash figure. When they announced reverse flash, I really wanted to get him. He's one of my favorite villains. And uh, let's just do a little comparison. As you can see, there are some places, it kind of feels like this is a new sculpt. I think the legs are the same, but I believe the upper torso and the upper arms are new sculpt. I'm not really sure. I think pretty much anything up here is a new sculpt, but I believe like down here is just a repaint. Uh, but it is still really cool. Uh, the slight problem with though uh, with this is this kind of is a little inaccurate due to this guy over here. So um, in the Flash season one, Barry wears a red and white, um, red and gold symbol. 
And so he only wears the red and white, or white and gold, in season two. He does wear a future version, so you could say this future Barry going up against future Eobard, but that, you know, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to do that. If you want to connect to season one, you could, but basically what I'm saying is, uh, because of this, this makes this a Season 2 Flash with a Season 1 Eobard. However, Eobard did return and the Reverse Flash, is return uh, the reverse flash returns, so you could say it's a little bit like that. But sadly, due to this, it is slightly uh, inaccurate. Personally, it doesn't bother me that much, but, you know, I could see a few people being upset with that. I kind of wish they would have made, like, a way to detach this and kind of, like, include a red symbol as well as an accessory, but um, they probably won't ever do that. But either way, it is still really cool, and, you know, it doesn't affect the Reverse Flash at all. He's still an amazing figure, and is probably one of the best multiverse figures I've really ever picked up. Really like this guy, uh, but, you know, I just want to point out it is slightly inaccurate. But I really like what they did with him. I like the colors. I like the articulation. He's really awesome. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Be watching this. For centuries. <sighs>